Workers at the auto repair shop are using dry ice to remove the oil stain from the bottom of the car. Dry ice is actually solid carbon dioxide. Its temperature is around minus 78 degrees Celsius. It will be directly sublimated at room temperature and pressure. Absorbs a lot of heat. Therefore, dry ice is also used as a refrigerant in daily life. Dry ice cleaning is actually a bit similar to. It's just that the sandblasted abrasive is replaced by dry ice particles. Workers use instruments to spray dry ice particles high speed through high pressure air. Dry ice particles cool the oil the moment they come into contact with it, make it more brittle. Viscosity is reduced. Then the dry ice that is blown at high speed comes into contact with the dirt. It immediately sublimates into gas. The volume expands by about 800 times in an instant. The process is similar to a tiny explosion with this microblast. The past here is smoothly tooled off. At the same time, it is also blown away by the high pressure gas. There is no residue from dry ice cleaning. Ejected dry ice particles become carbon dioxide gas after sublimation. It's not harmful to the human body. No abrasive residue like dry blasting. There is no water residue like wet blasting. Therefore, dry ice cleaning can also be used to clean circuit boards. Meanwhile, dry ice is softer, less damage to the surface of the object. It's very sustainable. It will not cause significant pollution to the environment. Of course, dry ice cleaning also has some drawbacks. When cleaning, first, sublimated carbon dioxide easily accumulates in closed places. Therefore, it is necessary to ensure that the workplace is well ventilated. Then, unlike regular abrasive, dry ice requires some additional cost during transportation and storage. Then there are some materials that are not suitable for dry ice cleaning, like some plastic or rubber. It becomes brittle at low temperatures. Therefore, the cable part of the car is not recommended. Dry ice cleaning can easily cause the cable skin to fall off, causing a short circuit or even a fire. 